I, my name is Matt Stoltz from Rhode Island, uh, and I am the organizer of 3D Printed Providence in Providence, Rhode Island. In addition to being a community organizer and really bringing people together and, and education on this, is I spent a lot of time doing materials testing. Um, I did some research a while back on, on soluble support material for desktop home 3D printers and figured out the, the ABS HIPS limonene solution that is now being widely adopted to be able to take 3D printing to a, a, a different uh, ability set. And uh, since then, I've been spending a lot of time testing out new materials as they come to market, beta testing materials for different companies. You know, it, there's an evolution every year as things go on. You know, we're, we're seeing a lot of things, you know, generally in the market. But this, this weekend, one of the, the real kind of noticeable things is, is design is really making sense now. People are really looking at how their printer looks. They realize that that the market isn't just the, the nerds who don't care. It needs to be engineered well and it needs to be pretty. Um, so, you know, things are looking a lot more a lot more polished. The fit and the finish is there. And that's that's really good to see. We're really excited to see machines that that feel like they can be in somebody's home, you know, and and we'll continue to see how things go. You know, we still have the the the, the rugged engineer bots that you know, really are the tinkerers bots that you know are there, and, and that's great. We're happy to see that those are still in the market because some of us still want that kind of thing. But you know, there's there's some nice ones that I can see sitting in someone's living room, you know, happily. Ease of use is catching up. Um, it's it's not still you know the the thing I often get running these groups is people still want that that thing that they are expecting out of their their desktop home 2D printer, you know, their paper printer. You know, I just hit print and it just happens. And you know, I, I think people forget. I think people forget about the the old days when when you know you had edge edge fed you know paper and that would get misaligned and you know printers weren't reliable, desktop printers weren't reliable, and you know we're getting there. We're starting to see ease of use come, but you know it, it still has a long ways to go. But definitely, companies are starting to think about it. I think I think Kickstarter has has been a real boom for the industry, but it's also been a real bane for the industry too. You know, I'm, I'm a big believer in the open source projects, the RepRap projects, um, and things like that. And it, it seems now that you know there's been a couple success stories out there. There's a lot more of the everyone everyone wants a piece of the pie. Everyone wants some of the money out of it. Um, you know, when when we run when we run build classes in my in my group, um, they're a cost. Um, we're, we're interested in, in getting things out to people and, and changing the world rather than saying, you know, I've got to grab cash. And, and unfortunately, we're seeing a lot of Kickstarters where they're, they're, they're using open source technology, they're adopting this, they're saying that a bot will eventually be open source, but not until they funded their Kickstarter. And, you know, it, it would be nice to see the community really rallying about doing things for the community again, like it kind of was before. Kickstarter boom really took off. I still believe that the build process and the kit process is is still really important. You know that that it is really nice, and I understand why manufacturers are starting to to lean towards fully assembled machines. You know, it opens up to a different market, um, as well as it uh, it allows uh, the machine to really come the way that the the manufacturer expects it to run you know they get they get a chance to test it and make sure everything's working before sending it someone so it really lessens support but kits are real still really important for the learning aspect you know a lot of people are still interested in the technology itself you know they may not have been the early adopters and gotten in right on the ground floor but they still want to know how these things work really how they work and the best way to really know that is to get your hands in them and you know let's face it they're still a new technology and they break. And you know, the people who know how to fix their own machines tend to be much happier with their machines than the people who say, it's broken, now I'm contacting support and now my machine's not working for a week, two weeks, three weeks until support gets back to me. And then I still have to probably get a part from them and get inside and put it in myself.